score a touchdown, you try to get a three and out. There's nothing worse on offense, and, and you know, your defense just gives up a, a touchdown, then you get three and out. We were able to do that, I think, twice there in the second half. It seemed like Illinois' defensive ends had some, gave you guys some trouble early on, and then you guys kind of silenced them. What adjustments did you guys make there? It's just more of uh, hand the ball off. That, uh, they run up the field. It does create seams for the backs, and, and so uh, our backs did a good job of seeing the seams and, and try to stay out of those situations. What did it mean to become bowl eligible, Mr. Uh, not a lot. I mean, it really does. We, our goal is to do something a lot more to get to bowl eligible. We've been to five bowls in a row now, and, and uh, you know, our, our thing is we get to November, we want to have an opportunity to go to Indianapolis, and, and uh, right now we're in that. We were able to win enough games in October, and so uh, you know you got to take them one at a time and, and see where this thing goes. But uh, I'm awfully pleased our kids have done what they needed to do because a lot of teams play games in November and they don't matter, and so it's always fun when it is. And uh, we'll worry about the bowl thing later. We're going to see how far we can go these, these next few weeks. Tracy, how much of a factor was the win passing and punting and all that? It was big. It was you know it was almost at a diagonal across the field, and so. It, it hurt the passes towards the sidelines, and, and uh, I know it, I mean, it, it made the ball knuckleball a little bit, and so we dropped a few of those. But that's all excuses. We got to catch the ball. You know, good receivers catch bad balls too. You know, and uh, so we got to do a better job catching the ball. And, and, uh, but, but the win was definitely a factor. We came to throw off and kick it. Did you worry in the third quarter that they were maybe hanging around a little bit more than you like? Yeah, you know, it's just kind of how on the road goes. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd like to. Get over early, but you know we tried that last week and it didn't work too well. You know, as we got up 21 to three early and messed around. Uh, I just told them in the second half I'd like for them to get out to a fast start, and uh, you know that's why the big drive was. Uh, you know, I told them hey, we're going to take the win in the third quarter and try to get up by by some scores and, and, and try to get ahead, and, and we were able to do that. And uh, um, so you know, as long as you have the lead, I, I never really felt uncomfortable. Growing and growing. You know, he gets better all the time. And, and uh, you know, his first two years here, he worried so much about developing his body and getting the strength and size that he needed to play that uh, he's really come on learning the game of football and, and what's going on. And so uh, uh, that's that's two pretty good teammates that we're glad we had. See somebody that you want to see in blitz situations too. It seems you know, we got quite a few of them, but yeah, he's done a nice job reading the reading the, the man zone on the blitz and, and getting to the open gap. And, and uh, I thought we got some pressure off the edge a time or two. And, and, uh, and, and but that's you know, you look at our guys and, and Juju and, and all those guys. And, you know, we played the first half without Jack, which uh, I, I thought they did a really good job. I was worried about that against the run, and, and uh, so uh, that linebacker core continues to get better. And, and, we're going to need him down the end, for sure. What are your thoughts on the uh, Duke McGee's targeting? Well, you know, again, you know, I know what the rule is, and we work on it. When those guys are going down that low, it's hard. You know, it's hard to avoid like that. But, but it's a rule, and we'll go to work. We'll go to work. And I hate to tell them to go down the legs all the time, and they're going to be putting their heads down with the tackle. And, and uh, we've, got to, we've got to stay below, but below the, the, the shoulders. Can I follow up? <clears throat> Some Atlanta fans were complaining on social media about your your team celebrating after that. Did did they know that the that Malik Turner was injured? Did, no, I mean, they didn't. They didn't. any big hit gets everybody excited at first, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was that, that was my. Yeah. Hey, you talked about being the resident. You guys already have 23 rushing touchdowns this year. Is that product of being I, I think so. I think so. But, you know, before we have we had to throw and do some boots and all kinds of stuff. You know, it's kind of amazing the, the difference we've had there um, in the red zone. But a lot of it has to do with those two backs. It's the same thing as they lower their pads down. There's not a lot of surface there. And they keep their feet running, and they're, they're, they're tough to tackle. Are you you're able to go with your starting 5 line most of the game, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. How, how much does that help in that running rhythm? Well, it, it helps, and you know we worked on them moving around a little bit. And the running games, all of those guys getting off the ball at the same time and, and working to their right identity. But uh, at the same time, we need Jonah back. He's a good player, and, and uh, I think we're.
getting close to getting him back, and, and that makes us better because we built some depth. Don L and all those guys having to step in there and play, and so we built built a little bit of depth in the offensive line, and, and uh, we just got to get our consistency there. We, we can be a lot more consistent. The three and outs are the, the ones that drive me crazy. How did Illinois' quarterback situation affect the way you guys were? You know, it, it made it tough because we didn't know who was going to play. So, and we played against West before. He can throw the rock. I mean, he's, he's a good quarterback. And, and, and so uh, we had to spend some time with, with all of them, you know. And, and so uh, and that's why there that first, um, at the beginning there, he caught us a little bit off guard. And then most him out and, and doing the wildcat sets and all that type of stuff is, you know, it's, it's all good stuff. You, you, it causes you problems on leverage, and so they got us on a few things. And, and, um, but I thought overall our, our staff adjusted well and our players adjusted well to it. I saw Mayor Jackson make a play there at the end. We haven't seen a, a lot out of him lately. What uh, was his progress? Yeah, we haven't seen a lot out of him lately. You know, you play productive players. So, yeah, you know, it's no secret. Our kids know at our places that you want to play on game day, you got to practice well. And you practice well, and you'll get your opportunities on game day.